Adam Buser is a typical high school kid. He works hard to maintain his grades, and he enjoys bowling whenever he can. But Adam's life since infancy has been anything but typical. In fact, it has been quite a challenge for him and his mom. When Adam was younger, he would throw himself on the floor and have tantrums for the simple fact is he couldn't respond. He couldn't tell me, yes, I want the trains, or no, I don't want the this or that. So you didn't understand what he was saying. He couldn't articulate. Registration. Registration. No, register. Registration. Say register. Adam was diagnosed with a neurological disorder called apraxia, which has resulted in severe language and speech problems since he was born. What I do with Adam is use his existing language activities from school or lessons from school to, to be a part of our actual therapy work because he is very uh, aware oftentimes of the language but not always aware of how he's pronouncing or producing those target sounds. Well, it's a proper distance you may park from the curb. Okay, say that word again, dis... Distance. Mm -hmm. Working with a speech therapist has helped Adam tremendously. Not only has his speech improved, but he has gained self-confidence as well. By working in schools, taking some tests, exams, and a lot of some other work that I had done, which is, which is a math, science, history, English, social studies, and probably math. Through the many challenges of Adam's speech apraxia, Jeannie struggled to learn more. For years, she searched for answers, but came up empty. Feeling alone and frustrated by the lack of information, she decided to write about her son's struggles and began illustrating his journey with apraxia. He talks funny, tackles the topic of bullying and being different. Even though teasing has been around for a long, long time, or bullying, whatever you want to call it, I'm trying to take it from the next level, which is not so much, well, it may happen in a classroom, but what happens when you're on the outside? What happens when you're on a playground? What happens when you're in a normal situation? Instead of people looking at you, well, you sound or talk differently, why not become friends? Realizing that apraxia wasn't going to dictate their lives, Jeannie had decided to learn from Adam and to share her experiences in an effort to help educate others. I realized that I had to try and put myself into his shoes, not the other way around. And as frustrating as it was for Adam, I realized I had to have more patience than he did because he already was off and running. I just had to catch up. A moving violation. So a moving 